the NBL, the National Bicycle League, and also by Gatorade Thirst Quencher, and by the proud sponsor of the Whole Shot Award, Sung Ring Lei. Well, it's quiet time out here, the kind of like the calm before the storm. What's going on in your mind out here when you're thinking about things, or are you thinking about anything in your gate setup? Right now, Paul, it's all about survival. Like, so many riders, and it only goes down to eight men in the finals, so surviving the track, staying on your two wheels, and just making it to the finish line, top four every lap is all we need to care about right now. Now, I know I'm looking at you on the track. Obviously, this track is kind of beneficial to you. You're used to jumping. Your thoughts about this section coming out of that first turn? I'm used to jumping, yes, but... We're used to jumping in a race with a bunch of people I've never raced before. It's, you know, it's kind of caution factor because you don't trust as many people and it's not like your buddies you race against uh, all, all year long. So it's a little bit different, but we're still having fun. Robbie, I know that uh, racing for Team USA is a little bit different than racing for DK. Your thoughts about that? You got to feel a team unity here. Yeah, DK 100 Collect sent me here and I'm wearing a USA jersey. So it's like we're all on one big team. Uh, we'll pull together, we'll ride hard and stay cautious, like I said, and we'll hopefully all be in the main. The first main event is with the junior women. This is the final event for the ladies today. This will decide the UCI BMX World Championship. Willie Kinese in gate number one. Next to her, Michelle Meandro, who's been racing very fast. Stacy Patton, also representing USA. Helena Aubrey from France in gate number four. Yana Horakova in lane number five, the Czech Republic. Lydia Favre from France in lane number six. And Carly Young in lane number seven. Big smile there. Jamie Lilly in lane number eight. The gate drops on the women for the UCI BMX World Championship. Michelle Meandro, our current leader with the whole shot. Jamie Lilly in second place. Helena Aubrey in third. Helena cuts down inside right in front of Jamie Lilly, putting Lilly in third place. Michelle Meandro with the lead. So Helena Aubrey, can she catch Michelle Meandro and can she shrug off a very fierce competitor in Jamie Lilly? Right now, Meandro extending her lead. The real battle is for second place. Michelle Meandro looks like she has first place all locked up. Can Lilly come from third into second? No. Helena Aubrey locks down second place. Jamie Lilly has to settle for third. The bottom half of the pack looks like this. Junior women winner. Michelle Meandro. Michelle, I watched you in the semi. You were my pick right away. You looked really fast out there. Thanks. You're a little bit late to the gate. I thought you were going to miss it. What happened? Okay. I was sitting in the stands, and I was just sitting there, and I look up at the gate, and I'm like, okay, nothing's going on. So I go get my bike, and I start warming up. And um, I'm warming up, and I hear 30 seconds, and I'm like, okay, what's going on? And I'm like, oh, my God. So I just, like, totally, like, ran. And I made it up there, but... I was so scared. I was like, adrenaline, totally. <laughs> it sounds like it helped you out because you had some co tough competition out there. Yeah, I did. <laughs> what did you uh, think was your main competition this weekend? Probably Jamie. Jamie is really fast. So, Michelle, would you like to thank anyone for this win? Yes, I would. I'd like to thank my sponsors, Mike Redman, and especially Richard Huvard. I love him. And I'd like to thank my dad and just all my friends supporting me and everybody. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, Michelle. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> We are indoors here in Louisville, Kentucky, and this track has a little bit of everything for everyone, including a very difficult elite section. Ah, the pro section, or should I say the elite section, since we're the only guys that were hitting it. You hit the first set, you got a long, long step jump. So big, they actually had to shave the top down just to get it right. And then after that, you got a long double, a tabletop, a great bold turn sends you through the rhythm section, and it's bold last turn again. Great turns. We got great fans out here. They wanted to see everyone jump it. They were rooting and cheering, and once we got the vote right, it's a great show. Craig, you are exactly right. It's all about the vote, and it's good to see the world of BMX coming together. The junior men's semifinal number one, we are underway. Some excellent racers in this one representing their countries, including Ian Stolfel representing the USA. He's currently in first place. Representing Australia, Ronnie Dugdale is in second place. But Ian Stoffel showing that he is dominating on this course. Donnie Robinson from the USA trying to fight for third. Ian Stoffel looking very comfortable. Rounding the final turn, Stoffel in first, Dugdale from Australia in second place, and Robinson comes away with the third position. Ian Stoffel owned it for the USA.
We now move to the junior men's semifinal. Moto number 662. What does that mean to you? Not much. All you have to know is the top four advance to the final. Let's see who will get the whole shot. Oh, right away. Only five racers stay up. So the odds have shrunk dramatically. Five racers, four of them will go to the final. And here we have A.J. Zabotnik. He is our current leader from Denmark. Bolterzen, he is in second place. A.J. Zabotnik was way out in front of that crash over the first roller. He looks really comfortable out there trying to hold off Zabotnik in second place. The top four will advance to the next round, which is the final. USA will be represented by A.J. Zabotnik. Hey, it's all about the finish line, right? whatever you got to do to make it to the finish line. You go out there and you race and you win, and, and we got a world champ. I don't care if he's from France. I don't care. As long as we got one cross the finish line first, we got a champion. Am I right? 